Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Aydini Zadinila from English Literature 2 uh, For this time, I want to present my presentations with the title Racism, Ethnocentrism, and also Hegemony in the Maple of Mary Mount So, I use uh, cultural studies to analyze this short story I will explain more about what the cultural studies meaning So, cultural studies is an academic field that examines the meaning of literary works in social structures that include race, ethnicity, gender, ideology, nationality, and etc. The structure is then, is then linked to society, economy, politics, and history. Stuart Hall became the most influential figure because cultural studies was created by Stuart Hall in 1964, examining, examining how within certain groups in society maintain and gain power over others and how they dominate and oppose a group. Uh, the theories related to cultural studies include a cultural construction and hegemony. Uh, so, cultural construction is the real theory of cultural studies is just people's thought such as gender, race, ethnicity, and etc. provide insight into people's beliefs and attitudes in interacting with the white community. Then, uh, hegemony is a cultural theory that studies, that studies that in a society there will be one group of people who dominate one group, be it economic or political. So we go to the character in the short story. We have Edgar and Edith, which is the young couple who married in the ceremony. And now and then we have uh, Andy Cote, the leader of Britons. We have Peter Palfrey, the assistant of Andy Cote, and Anglican priest, the minister of uh, the priest in the wedding ceremony. That uh, the maple, the merry, the merry mound. Okay, we saw from the script but a band of Puritans who watch the scene invisible themselves compared the Moscus to the Stephys and Rain Souls with whom they super city superstition people the black wilderness. So we will go to the analysis uh, for the cultural construction Racism, racism and ethnocentrism. The Puritans who judge the traditions carried out by the Mary Mount residents are traditions that violate their traditions. Some traditions of the Mary Mount, the Mary Mount residents who wear strange clothes and stupid clothes resembling animals, such as wearing a headdress in the form of a stake antlers, animal face animal face mask and even a real beer standing there. The placement of the pine tree in the midst of the activity made the Puritans who saw it think that they, the residents of Marymount, was a habit that defeated that defeated from what the Puritans believed, thinking that it could be a ritual of worshipping of the devil and the satanists. Sorry, let me. And the next uh, script. Uh, on the other hand, the Puritans affirmed that when a uh, psalm was peeling from the place of worship, the echo which the forest and the back seemed often, often like the chorus of a jolly catch, closing with a roar of laughter of the lover uh, who but the find and his bones left. The crew of Marymount had thus disturbed them. Assume that the traditions that the inhabitants of Marymount are compared to the demons that roam. In paragraph 15, it explained that the youth who wears shiny clothes, a rainbow scarf wrapped around his chest, uh, uh, retreats his left and holds the hand of a refiller and a beautiful girl who wears colorful clothes. 
it was Edgar and Edith, the bride and groom, who were uh, who were the, car- the to carry out their wedding. A tradition that the people of Marymount had the beliefs believes the Puritans who highly respect their religion, perform morning prayers and worship in the late afternoon. Lead them to the view that all actions and activities carried out must be in accordance with norms noted to the offerings of demons and they have the hurt to suffer and other people or uh, other people if they defeat from defeat from their traditions. In other words, they judge their tradition uh, as the most correct and other people's traditions. Uh, the next script, uh, the young deem themselves happy, the elder spirits, if they knew that mirth was but the counterfeit of happiness, yet follow the false shadow with willfully because at least her garments glitter brightest sworn trifles of a lifetime they would not venture among the sober truths of life not even to be truly blessed the reason behind why they prefer to party have fun maybe because it becomes a diversion from their burdens about the problems they face will be covered with a play and mask that is being happy having fun and singing Uh, and shall not the yelf hair be cut? asked Peter Palfrey, looking with abhorrence abur- at the love lock and long glossy curls of the young man. The racism shown by the Britons to the people of Marymount is clearly seen at the end of the short story. It is explained that the appearance of the people of Marymount is characterized by, cl- by curly hair looking disdainfully at those who look different from the appearance of the Puritans. And the next is the hegemony. Not as yet, answered Randy Cut, bending his iron frown upon the culpit. It must be for the quid and general court to determine whether stripes and long imprisonment and other griefs penalty may atone for these transgressions let him look to himself, for such as violate our civil order, it may be permit, permitted as to show mercy, but woe to the wretch that troubled, that troubled our religion. From the traditions lived by the people of Marymount, how those who are always described with happiness, such as when Edgar and Edith's wedding they loved, sound like tomorrow will always be happy forever, Make make Puritans unable to tolerate such happiness. It is said that the Puritans have no happiness, and if they find some when dancing, they will be whipped and punished uh, for that. Here, the Puritans become the dominating party. How do they punish, control the power that he took from the previous inhabitants of Marymount? As it as is known in the theory of cultural studies consisting of two structures, cultural construction and hegemony. In Hawthorne's The Maple of Merriman, I what I found were um, racism, ethnocentrism and hegemony. For racism and ethnocentrism it can be seen from how the Britain Britons look down on and disgust to the people of Merrimount and that the traditions of the people of Marymount are a departure from the tradition of the Puritans. Hegemony is evidence from how the Puritans try to dominate the power of the people of Marymount. So that's all for my presentations. I'm sorry if I have a mistake and bad pronunciations. I hope you get, I hope you like it and enjoy my video. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.